welcome back we're at day three of vlogmas already so excited seeing all of them come into my subscription boxes and like the feeling of just everyone doing vlogmas together you know we're all struggling through it together it's monday morning and i'm headed back into the office today i'm very excited to get back in it yesterday i mentioned that my supervisor said she was working from home so and she's like the main person i work with on a day-to-day -day basis i don't have meetings in the afternoon so i can maybe go in and then do some work and paperwork that i need to do and leave and work from home for the second half of the day i was a little worried about adjusting back to the time zone to wake up relatively early when i've been kind of sleeping later because of west coast time but i woke up at 7 a.m and it was not even that bad and i went to sleep probably at like 12 30 last night and i'm fine you know we're alive i feel ill prepared coming back to the weather here because i have a lot of coats you guys know but i don't have like a very heavy duty winter coat i really need to get one so maybe in the next couple days i will make my way to a uniqlo or something today we're kicking off the like christmasy vlogs because the last two days i've been traveling and it's been kind of all over the place i want to do my christmas in new york bucket list in this vlog which i pulled together some things i want to do i am going to do as much as i possibly can because that's what this is all about like i'm so excited and it'll challenge me to go out and like take advantage of my first christmas in new york the number one thing on the list that we're going to accomplish today is get an advent calendar to count down to christmas because i always do that in the beginning of my vlogmas it's fun to like hunt one down together in the vlogs and we'll see what we find i try to get creative ones like remember one year i got the sock calendar and what was last year's i think it was just a kind of a boring frozen one there's a hallmark store right next to my work so after work today i think i'm gonna pop in there and yeah that's pretty much it so i'm going to finish getting ready cheers to vlogmas day three i thought i would feel stressed about vlogmas at this point and maybe it's because i haven't been back at work yet and it's only been two days bye see you when i'm ready i'm wearing a dress today and i don't know why i just felt right even though it's gonna be freezing this is just a plain gray dress it makes me feel like kiki's delivery service anyone i guess because it's just so plain it is from zara black tights under it which you will see my hair is down which might be ruined by the weather i'm wearing black tights and then my kind of heavy duty boots that are from lulu's just because they're the most equipped for puddles yeah pretty boring but that's me i think i'm gonna wear my long white puffer that has a hood let's go battle the storm my umbrella broke so i have a backup i think i put it up here yes good thinking this is my disney one it's like a disney park on it because i went to disney in the rain one time say disney one more time came to the hallmark store to work and look at all the UNICEF stuff they have well it's like to support UNICEF which is cute it is snowing outside you guys but for snow in New York it's like kind of wet still like rain snow but it's so pretty you need to find an advent calendar okay this is a calendar but like mm, that's amazing also, why are they playing Party in the USA instead of Christmas music? That's what I want to know. Where are the advent calendars? They've been located. This is cute. This one has a call to action. So, I think we're going to go for it. It's 3D. Now home, and like I said before, I think I mentioned my supervisor's working from home. I'm going to keep working remotely. Stopped at the Hallmark store, as I showed you guys and i did find an advent calendar i always just like stumble on the randomest like cheap store ones that i can find which i guess is part of the vlogmas like that's just a tradition at this point so this year i found i thought this would be a little fun a little off the beaten path of advent calendars 3d family activity advent calendar so it gives you like an activity to do every day when you open it which i think would be so funny because it's 3d you build it into a house so that'll be fun. Make a picture to share with a sick child somewhere. Another example, you've grown big and strong. Pass those old clothes along. I feel attacked. It's you just build it into a house. I thought that was cute, it was only like $6. We're gonna do that. First, I'm gonna heat up my leftovers from yesterday to have for lunch and get back at it on my work on my computer. The snow was so magical, especially walking like to the Chrysler building. It wasn't sticking yet and it was still like kind of wet rainy snow but it was a great experience my first new york snow season so apparently it snowed once during the day while i was in my cubicle one day and i didn't see i don't have any windows so i didn't see it 
but my first New York show of the season. That's my advent calendar. That is checking off number one of the New York Christmas bucket list. He's got an advent calendar. So we're already checking things off on this vlog, you guys. I'm excited. I was just sitting here, minding my own business, eating my lunch, watching YouTube videos, and my power just went out. <laughs> And it's like not even, oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, it's back. She sticks the landing. I'm worried it's going to go away again. Obviously, it's not the end of the world, but I do prefer to have my Wi-Fi. Now, this vlog clip is not exciting because I do have power, but we lost it for a second there. And the weather is like not even extreme, so I don't know what that's about. Guys, it's like snowing, snowing now. Like those are some fat flakes. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. You can kind of see more with the construction in the background. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so exciting. I'm gonna light a Christmas candle and listen to some Christmas music while I do work. Done with work now it is dark out now so the lights probably just very pink yeah this is just too dark i feel so we go with pink i got my amazon package in the mail of the hard drive i ordered so i thought it'd just be fun to film me opening it i don't know the one that i edit with now it's my dad's old one that he like passed down to me so it had already been used and it doesn't have that much storage and it's been having problems like getting disconnected really easily and then losing my work which is frustrating wd elements which is the same brand that it was the basic storage backup four terabytes of storage that's a lot of storage I'm pretty amped about it it's cold from being out in the snow <laughs> yeah she's a little heavy but like in a good way and probably use this for this vlog i want to open my advent calendar with you guys and put it together 3d advent calendar family activity except the family's just me so this is intense doors and walls and what a nice biblical family i think is this mary and joseph a nice biblical monkey a monkey donkey a nice biblical baby jesus i assume and a nice biblical sheep a nice biblical blue circle this must be the chimney. Is this the floor? <laughs> Literally, what is going on? I should probably look at a picture or something. Christmas time is giving time advent calendar with a meaningful activity for each December day. Oh, that's the roof. I'm an idiot. Blue circles make the people stand up. <laughs> is this idiot proof? We'll find out together, kids. I should not be an architect. Unless this flips down. So confused. Yeah. Some perforations here to connect. This is. God, you guys. I think I did it. Look at that. I know it's sad, but I tried my best. Okay. This kid is really not happy. Oh man, this is an exercise in patience, kids. She's done. Now we have the people, except they're not really critical to this story, or not the story. <laughs> they're not really critical to this setup. Okay, so now each little door has a number on it that we're counting for the advent calendar. So today's one and day three, so we're doing one, two, and three. One, this little girl peering out of a window. This kid is still screaming. I'm sorry if you can hear that. To feel cozy and snug, plan a big family hug. It's just me, so. Yikes. All right, number two. Blue windows for number two. I feel like I'm gonna break this thing like every single day. Throw me a bone here. Hello, is anyone home? Oh my God, how do you, okay. I'm gonna have to push it from the inside. Show a new friend you care, buy a toy that you can share. Probably just buy one of my friends a bottle of wine that I can also drink. Number three. Oh, she's on a window. Oh, how the hell am I gonna open this one? This is just me being a giant, like a clumsy giant, destroying this poor family's house. Describe the true reason for this beautiful season. Younger me said it best. And remember, so those are the first three days of this beautiful advent calendar. I'm glad we could really just struggle. Actually, it's just me struggling and you cringing me try to build this paper thing. Something to look forward to in every vlog. 
Nice little holiday addition to the coffee cart. We are out here with this very Christmassy background to finally read you my Christmas in New York bucket list that I've been hinting at for the last couple of vlogs. I finally finalized it. I'm, you know, it's subject to change, just saying, but I uh, think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty solid. It's a tall order. That's for sure. I don't know. I wanted to hold myself accountable to do as many Christmassy things as I could the first year I'm living in New York City during this magical time of year. And I freaking love Christmas and I freaking love New York. Sorry if you can hear my heater. It's kind of loud, but I wanted to sit in front of my tree. I made this list based on things I've heard from other people, things I found on the internet, recommendations from you guys. A lot of people say that one of their favorite like Christmas Vlogmas memories of mine is when me and Lindsay did that trip, I think during my first Vlogmas, my senior year of high school, we came to New York during Christmas time. We did all the magical things. Well, we did do all of it, but we did as much as we could. For the rest of Vlogmas, I'm just gonna be pulling from this list. I made 25, I thought I wasn't going to do that many. Then I was like, you know what? If I don't get to all of them, like it's not the end of the world, it's kind of more of a goal. I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to have 25 things for 25 days. Some of them I know that I can do more than one in one day. Some of them I have already done, so I can check them off. Here we go, my 25 bucket list items of Vlogmas 2019. Number one, throw my phone on the floor, check. Number one is get a Christmas advent calendar, done. We did that today. We love that for me, we've already, Hit the ground running on this bucket list. <laughs> two, okay, this is also kind of lame. Number two is get Bath and Body Works Christmas candles because that's just a fun Christmas staple in general for anyone's kind of vlogmas videos. Three is the Rockefeller Center tree lighting ceremony, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to. It's on Wednesday, so the day after tomorrow, and they have this whole thing. It's televised, and they have performances, and it's just this big deal. Like Rockefeller Center has a giant tree. I don't want to like over explain things because I feel like a lot of things that happen in New York are pretty famous but also a lot of people might not know so Rockefeller Center is pretty sick so even if that doesn't end up working out that I go to the lighting ceremony I still want to just go and see the tree <laughs> regardless once it's lit and some of these things I have plans to do already and some of them I don't so if you're my friend in New York and are you watching this let me know if you want to do any of these with me number four is the Diker Heights lights so basically there's this neighborhood in Brooklyn called Diker Heights where a bunch of the houses on a certain street go like insane like investing tens of thousands of dollars in these crazy light displays i'll try to find some pictures or something to put on the screen but it's just like crazy out of this world like um martha may Huvier status in the grinch so i think that'd be super sick if i'm able to make it down to that part of brooklyn at some point and see those lights number five is the light shows in the fifth avenue window displays or broadly just seeing the window displays in general but some of them have like light shows that go on the side of the buildings so that's kind of like the famous thing number six is the plaza hotel so i went there recently just to see it for the first time but it wasn't decorated or anything i know that they have a huge tree and they go all out for christmas and it reminds me of home alone too because that's where kevin McAllister stayed number seven another easy one is get an ugly christmas sweater i'm thinking now i wish i'd bought that hallmark one that i saw in the store today so i might go back and get that even though it's not ugly, but you know, the term ugly Christmas sweater is just like a blanket statement. <laughs> Number eight is Union Square Christmas Market. I have not been to this one before. I think they have it every day, I want to say. My information may be incorrect. Nine is the Bryant Park Christmas Market. It is the cutest thing in the entire world. I, I think it's my favorite that I've been to in New York this far in my life is the Bryant Park. It's just so cute. I love it. Have you guys suggested in the comments? to go to the Snug Harbor Lantern Festival, which is on Staten Island. It looks pretty sick. So if I make it to Staten Island, fingers crossed, it's a goal. Number 11 is SantaCon, which is huge, famous bar crawl where everyone dresses like Santa, basically. It started in New York and they have them in other cities and they have them in DC, but I never went because I was always right in the midst of my finals. I realized that like today when I was watching people's vlogmases, like people who are still in college and they're like studying for finals, I realized this is the first vlogmas that i haven't had to study for finals and i've been in school like my whole life basically since i was five like when my roommate was going out for santa con i couldn't go because i was sitting at home writing paper all day so i'm going to santa con this year number 12 is just ice skating in general there's a few different really cool ice rinks in new york and i'm not limiting myself to one but i already have plans to go to one and i don't want to say it because it's a surprise also i wanted to make some of them general because Obviously, I want this to be something that you guys can do too, even if you're not in New York City. If you want to make your own Vlogmas Christmas December bucket list, 
um, like just to give you ideas. But if you do that, definitely comment down below. Even just like five things that you want to do before Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. Five things you want to do like tomorrow. I don't even know. Just comment a list or something. <laughs> Number 13 is to get a picture with the giant ornaments outside of Radio City Musical. Number 14 is to see Frozen 2 again. It's playing everywhere in theaters, not just New York, but I freaking love Frozen and I haven't seen Frozen 2 yet. So I wanted some of these to be things that I could do like when I go back home if I don't finish my bucket list by then. Number 15 is to wear my ugly Christmas sweater that I get to an ugly Christmas sweater party because that's just like something people do, you know? Number 16 is the Museum of Ice Cream, which isn't really Christmassy necessarily, but it's here during Christmas time and I already have tickets to it that my friend texted me about like months ago. So I'm going, that's for sure. Number 17 is to go to one of the botanic gardens. The one that's really famous is the New York Botanic Garden that has the train show. They do this little holiday train show that mimics New York and it looks really cool, but that's kind of far for me. So maybe I'll go to that or um, if I don't make it to that one, I live by the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. And I think during December it's free on weekdays. So I might try to venture to one of those. I don't know how much they decorate for Christmas in the Brooklyn one, but both of them look beautiful. Number 18 is to see a Christmas show. Why can't I say Christmas? <laughs> it's to see a Christmas show. So when I was here before for Christmas, I keep referencing that, but sorry, that's just my reference point. I went to see the Rockettes, which is the classic one that is on everyone's bucket list. Also the Nutcracker. There's also other cool shows. Um, Christmas Carol. Maybe, fingers crossed, I'll make it to some sort of show, even if it's the Rockettes again. Like, I wouldn't mind going again. Number 19 is Snow Day in Brooklyn. It's a restaurant in Williamsburg called Sunday in Brooklyn, and then in the winter they do this little, like, wintry pop-up thing called Snow Day in Brooklyn, and it looks so cute with holiday drinks. 20, this is kind of a cop-out, but number 20 is to see snowfall in New York City. And I already did that today! Yay! We've officially crossed off two items of my bucket list already. Wow, who would have thought? It's almost as if I wrote half of this today. Anyway, number 21 is the Central Park holiday lighting. Central Park has like a cool ongoing holiday thing in their central area. I'm not exactly sure about the details. They have a specific lighting ceremony on Thursday, which I have plans on Thursday, but I'm thinking I can like go to the Central Park thing really quick and then go to the thing downtown. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm gonna try and make it to both. If I don't make it on Thursday specifically, if I just go, I wanna go to Central Park during the season at some point. And number 22, the Grand Central Holiday Market. Grand Central is the station I take to work. So I walk through there quite a bit and they have a holiday market. So should be fun. It looks adorable. 23, this is a new thing. I'm pretty sure this is the first year, but Hudson Yards is doing something called Shine On, which is like a light show. And artists put together this whole huge LED display and every day at 5 p.m. they do a whole light show with it. So I want to try and go to that at some point. Number 24 is Vintage Subway Ride on Sundays. The F I did a lot of research for this, you guys. I hope you take some inspiration from this and it helps you. But on Sundays, the F train is replaced from 2nd Avenue, I think, in Manhattan. They replaced it with this old like 1930s style train. It's sponsored by the New York Transit Museum and it's like holiday decorated and you can ride the vintage train and it looks adorable. So I wanna do that. Last one, number 25, is an easy one, which is a filler, which I couldn't come up with the last one because I read like 50 websites that all said the same thing. Last one is just bake something Christmassy. So that is my 25 days of New York City bucket list Christmas activities. I'm so excited for this. I feel like this is the first time I've had like challenges in my vlogmas. That's just a goal. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to all of them. I'm feeling competitive with myself though and I wanna try and get to all of them. I might go to some alone, I don't even know. But I really wanna try and do as much as I can and enjoy my first Christmas time living in New York City. What's up if you're excited for the bucket list idea? Comment down below if you have any other ideas. I don't know if I can add more to my list at this point, but it's always up for modification. Comment down below your own Christmas bucket list. Just think it'd be so fun to do these together. And if you live in New York, like let me know if you've been to any of these things, if you have recommendations or ideas or like certain days that are good to go to some of them or not. I just love to hear your feedback. And I'm so excited about this. It's gonna be so much fun. The first few days of Vlogmas have been kind of slow, just like me transitioning back into my routine, but things are gonna pick up and we're gonna be doing all the Christmassy things. Like I have a lot of plans already that are gonna be really fun. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already to see me actually enact all of these bucket list things and see if I can do it. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, but we're in for it. So buckle up. Okay, that's actually gonna end my vlog for today. Um, I mostly just wanted to talk about my bucket list. So I just wanna finish off the vlog before I get on with my night. 
so thanks for watching again subscribe i'm so freaking stoked i wish i had done this in every vlogmas honestly yes i work full time and i'm gonna be in an office most of the days i thought this would be a fun little challenge and dimension to add to vlogmas that would make it a little more exciting and push me to get out there and not just like go home work out and eat dinner after work for vlogmas merry christmas everyone hope you enjoyed love you so much and i'll see you tomorrow bye and remember Christmas is about love, not about proof. <laughs> it's just about giving love and family. I love you. Bye.